are in the city of Sisuria. And possibly Uncle Rex is in the city of Sisuria as well. Well, we know that there's someone named Rex in Sisuria. Who doesn't that's... start think that they know you. But that's okay. A lot of people have disowned my character, so I don't mind. It's my lot in life. Get the sound of the uh, city. Oh, it's a bustling town? Town or city? City. City. Is oh, there, a lot of, there are a lot of resonance because of the distance, you know, there's a hole. What, um, are, what are the sound properties are like? Tons of animals. In Sicilia. <laughs> um, there probably are, but not probably not in this part of the city. Um, <clears throat> yep. Kind of like lots of bends as well. <laughs> they're just, they're all look yeah, like bends. people. <laughs> <laughs> all look and sound exactly <laughs> like bends. <laughs> oh wow. Cool, so um, That's bringing one the thing you do yeah. notice about all the people in Caesarea is that they're all wearing these silver headbands like you are. Cool. I go like this. I think about, where is Rex? I go, and blank my face like the guy did. Mm -hmm. And nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens. But I it's got, worth a shot. I get my armband and I... Oh, I'm going to look at that. Bling. And I wipe it across my arm. Interestingly, you don't see much. Which, I mean, that's not particularly hurt. interesting. And it hurts, as um. it always does. So you don't, you don't see much and it hurts. However, Rin Licks does your see arm. something. I got this. I go. I just keep walking. Rin sees, uh, or thinks he sees. Uh, <laughs> I see everything, alright. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Rin thinks he sees uh, a gold crown. Not the one from the ship, but an ornate one with gems and jewels in it. He's not sure why. But when you do that, he sees the crown. And what do I see? Just figments. So you see your mum. You just see, oh. you just see like the... I've, I didn't know I had a mum. <laughs> you know how you see like weird kind yeah. of... Yeah. No, I, I don't see that. I see the, the actual pictures. Yeah. Everyone but... else sees the weird. So I see the weird. Yeah. You, see, you now see the weird and he now sees what you should be seeing. Why is there a crown on your arm? You, you see something? Yes, yeah, right there. Well, I saw it. Hang on, and then I just got the... I flip it around. <laughs> is it causing him pain, is it? Yeah, uh, not heaps. I still can't see it. Rub it again. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> You're just making How him... How much damage does he have? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I definitely see a crown with jewels. I'm just like... There's Why like... is there a crown with jewels on your arm? It's and what does it do? <laughs> and how does it work? <laughs> and really... can I try mine? <laughs> it doesn't work with your broken one. Does it hurt him? No, just, just like... If you just picked up a rock off the ground yeah, cool. and ran it up and down his arm, nothing happened. Okay. Sorry. Oh, it doesn't work with mine, but it works with yours. Hmm. A crown with jewels. Hmm. Cool. Cool. Um, the big bowl in the I'm center, really is that the tavern? Is that, is that the be. biggest bowl that if we it saw a bowl, that bowl would probably be it. It, it's, And it's like front and center. You yeah, know, cool. It's in, sort of suspended. So, yeah, there's sort of this bridge going out to it with a big kind of... Uh, arch supporting it underneath it and then it kind of goes out a bit further and then there's this big bowl shaped thing I go straight off the edge on my hover thing because it hovers in the air it doesn't I remember it doesn't you're gonna fall no get, get, get a bit of a lift <laughs> it doesn't remember how it doesn't work because you because when you jumped out of the plane it, it just dropped the air, out of the air shit they but it went like this, it cushioned your fall, yeah. but you just dropped. But you're not going to be able okay, to get out to right. no, no, go. on your hover thing. You're so just going to end up two down at the bottom of this pit. I dropped my dice, that's what happens. That's cool. I've got heaps here. This it's means not, you fail your next round. Not lucky. <laughs> oh, the intrusion! <laughs> what, what did you lose? Did, did, did we say that? Yeah. <laughs> no, so but if I roll it... critical fail. That was our house rule, guys. I got it! Ah! If you yeah. Okay, can we just say, is this a good house rule or not? You drop if you roll your you roll your your dice and it goes off the edge, it's an automatic um, failure. Automatic botch. 
I, that, I think it's a fantastic rule. It's a fumble. You especially fumble when us. you're confined to a table with video cameras on you, that you don't want to be rummaging around yeah. underneath. Yeah. Trying to I'm find gonna sit it. here and drink my really. Try it if thing. you're a GM. Try it with your next game. See what happens. Yeah, it stops players from being so flamboyant with their dice rolls. Less reckless. <laughs> reckless <laughs> dice rolls. I'm gonna recklessly <laughs> no, no, roll my dice. No, 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 reckless, <laughs> recklessly, <laughs> recklessly, recklessly with the W. That's let's nice. um, let's head towards the bowl. Cool. What do you think, Axie? Why are you going mm. near the edge with your hoverboard? I'm really concerned. Because I look at my arm now and there's like, it's as if all the blood vessels have been popped. And it's just yeah, bleeding so underneath the arm. Something is wrong with me. Yes. <laughs> Let us go drink. <laughs> that Good is the solution. answer. The answer, yes. Cool. So you make your way around towards the bridge, I'm assuming. Um, along the way, uh, you notice uh, there are these creatures, which I have a picture of, which is nice. Uh, they're a little bit like this. Cool. Think, and they are, think Avatar. Yeah. That's cool. They're kind of They'll like Avatar, but with bats. Um, and these things are kind of hanging on these little perches. They, they perch like bats, kind of upside down. Um, and they're hanging there, sort What's of, about? once in a while, around the side. And potentially, if you could ride one, you could get to the bowl a little quicker. I'm going to go towards it. <laughs> yep. And Can I I'll leap onto its back. <laughs> <laughs> just, just This thing looks like a strange and unusual GM creature. intrusion. <laughs> GM intrusion, that shit. <laughs> You fall to your death. Come, XZ. Let's find, let's find a way across here as quickly as we can. <laughs> All right. Um, you will need to make a roll of some kind. I Can stop and stare speed... and wait with a smile on my face. <laughs> you need to make a speed roll. Cool. I'm going to burn. To see if you can jump onto it without falling off. <laughs> What's my diff? I'm um, deaf. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difficulty, is you are uh, going to die. I reckon diff five. Six? Yes, even better. Diff six, I'm going to spend two effort. Good. Uh, cool, so... Okay, cool. So, what am I, diff four? Yeah, so twelve up. Twelve up, let's do it. <laughs> Fail. Nineteen! <laughs> <laughs> That's like a minus critical. That's critical success. <laughs> Minor, is it minor success than I think? Yeah, minor one, yeah. Excellent. Um, <laughs> You're going to make me want to do this next, are you? Come, Axie! Possibly, yes. I do it with panache and style. I'm licking my way across this thing. <laughs> licking it. <laughs> Which is somehow, actually, you know, it relates to. Um. So, yeah, so you jump onto it and you sort of... Not only do you... Agilely land on it. Agile? Oh, yeah, uh, let's let's go with it. Um, the definition will be down there somewhere. <laughs> not only that, but you you sort of get a a sense in your seeing things senses. Oh, yeah. you're gonna get a that, vision. That, nice. That this My this bits of insight creature that looks like it's an animal. Is actually biomechanical. Oh my god! There's something numenera ish about it. And I'm gonna lick it up. I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> I lick it. And and you you also sense that it it doesn't seem particularly upset about you landing on it. But there's something about you that means that it's not particularly upset and it may be upset with someone else. Well, let's find out. You know, like it personally is it, sort of affectionate towards me. <gasps> I'm like stroking what's it? and freaking out at the same <laughs> yeah. time. What, what is it? What, what's it called? It I'm called a, a Rasta. So Rasta. you're Rasta Man? Right, that so helps me. Can you be Rasta Man and have a really frost, Rasta-y voice? Rasta. I'm Rasta Man. So typically what? Rasta riders will um, stand up on the back of a Rasta because um, they're awesome like that. But you might want to kind of... Hey, I wrote a 20. You know. I will stand up on this thing if that's how it feels like it naturally should be written. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, you did get a natural 20. You got a I natural got a natural, 19. No, I got a natural 19, so which is a minor critical. Before, which may make things a bit interesting if you do try and play it. Um, I go on my you... hoverboard and just go around the rest of it. <laughs> oh, so bored. 
Uh, I'm not jumping off. It's jump off onto this thing. It's awesome. Do it. Do it. Do it. Shaky first. <laughs> I, I went on my thing and my, I go like this when I'm going. I go along and wipe my arm. Um. Still doesn't work. I'm no, it doesn't. Wait, I saw something. Come over here <laughs> and I'll tell away. you what it is. <laughs> Jump on! Come on! Oh, um, fine. Okay. Yeah. While you, no, while you're um while you're discussing with each other, um whether or not X you should jump on, um this young this young man with long flowing locks, looking particularly cool. It's a surfer. <laughs> it's a bat surfer. No, what's, a rat yeah. surfer. what's his name? Uh, what was your cat? What's your thing's name in Pathfinder? Gnarly. Uh, gnarly. <laughs> hey, gnarly. Dude. Gnarly. Well, we can call him gnarly if you want. <laughs> um, gnarly. Gnarly, gnarly says, says Whoa, man, what are you doing? I'm, I'm riding this thing. Dude, that's my rasta. <laughs> we wouldn't say dude. <laughs> <laughs> it just he could. Came out. He could. That's his yours? Yeah. He's such a beautiful biomechanical creature. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> He's sort of impressed that you're like standing atop this thing when you've never done it before. <laughs> He's I like, simply must, I simply could not resist going over and seeing oh such a magnificent God. specimen. Was it, was it grown in the lab? Was it, was it taken from another world? I don't know, I just, I just ride it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is your name? Oh, dude. <laughs> My, My name, name is Gnarly. Gnarly <laughs> the Rasta Rider. <laughs> Does he have dreads? Uh, Do you have like one dread? Like, he could have a Rasta tail. Oh, oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> a Rasta um, tail. We are Gnarly. Gnarly, we are trying to to get to the bowl in the center as quickly as we can. Okay, I could well, not resist riding on your your rasta. I can I can give you a lift if you want. Please, and my friend. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, can you do any tricks? <laughs> Possibly. Let's find out. <laughs> Come on board. Yeah, Gnarly. So, so Gnarly's gonna, offered us a lift. Are you going to jump on with Gnarly? Um, yeah, but I'm going to get my hoverboards to go around the edge. I'm going to drive them via remote. <laughs> so we have the hoverboards when we need them. How do you drive them via remote? Well, I've got this little controller and I can see where they are. So it's kind of like driving a remote control car very far away. Oh, okay. So I get it there. Right. How are you going to drive them? No. <laughs> <laughs> well. They fall off the edge of the cliff and... Oh no! Oh. Oh. <laughs> they they had a were, good run. I had them for four game sessions. <laughs> they were my special thing. Is that a one? No, four. No, 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 no. It's all right. it so like they're, they're on the edge. Okay. I go and save them, put them back on. You could just, you might decide that it's probably safer to just leave them here. Maybe, maybe they can't be moved without a controller, so they just sit there. Yeah, I think they just sit yeah. there and they don't hold them. That way we don't have to worry just, about them. Yeah. They look like nothing, like, no one's going to be particularly interested in Except them. Except that they hover. No, but they're not hovering if he's not. Ah, oh, okay, cool, cool. Not mm, using cool. Them, I jump, up, up to you, up to you. We'll up, I jump okay. on the back of this thingo. And Dude. Out. I jump on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, come on. Six. Uh, what was the <laughs> no. Did you want to spend any speed, like, effort? <coughs> no, not really. <laughs> um, okay, so you, um, as you No, but I, it's, I'm guessing it's easier than jumping onto an upside down bat oh, yeah. hanging. No. He's, they've come up for a... I was going to reduce it down to three, but six is still not going to make it. Okay, so I what? do it awkwardly. Isn't three... If, oh, diff, oh, sorry, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I think... Well, let's, let's, let's not say that you fall to your death. Because that would suck. Can I try and catch him? Um, maybe, maybe you could try and catch him. Yeah. Maybe Gnarly could also try and catch him. I'll reach out to try and catch him. What's my diff? Uh, three. Three. So it's nine. Because he's just, he's just trying to step across a short gap. It's not really very far. Well, three's, right, let's three's find a out. big. Oh, miss. <laughs> you miss. Um, I'm too gnarly. excited. Can I roll for Gnarly? Uh, no, Gnarly's not going to reach out and grab you. Uh, Nali's going to down. swoop down and catch you. Am I on the back? While you're yes. on the back. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, 19, I don't know what that means. Nali kind of <laughs> drops down and sort of in a bit of a roll over and swoops down under and grabs you like it's the easiest thing in the world. Like a baby. <laughs> Curves you. And he just goes, Eat careful too. man. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we've defined this character. Hey, thanks, thanks, Gnarly. What? 
What is this creature? It is biomechanical. Is it probably yours? grown in a lab? It's amazing. <laughs> How did you find it? I found it just here. Oh, you weren't talking to me. Oh, I was. Um, no, so I was this thing I was talking to you. How stupid. This thing's easily large enough for the three of you to sit on its back. They have they have a thirty foot wingspan. Wow. They are dude. How many how many how much did this cost you, Nali? Ah, uh, I, I don't own it. It belongs to the city. I mean so it's not yours. No, I just I just drive it. I'm like a taxi driver. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen <laughs> this button? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's gonna fall for that. <laughs> it's <laughs> shining. Oh wow, that's awesome. <laughs> and in the in the full moon, something amazing happens. <laughs> Can you roll, please? That will be a diff zero. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So um, he flies you across to the bowl. Do you want to, you know, ask him any favors? Yeah. On the way? Tell us about this place, Nali. Oh, well, this is uh, no, no. This is the he the city a... or the bowl or the city and the Sorry. void. I have never seen such a wonder as the void. Can we travel there too? Oh well, the void's just out there, and he sort of gestures out in the gap. I'll just start looking out towards it. Um, right. you have one eye on it the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know where it came from. It's just there. Some people call it the wound in the world. I must travel to it. <laughs> have you ever been there? Oh, I've I've flown over it, but it's it's deep, man. It's real deep. <laughs> <laughs> if it was metaphoric, how deep would that be? Righteously deep. <laughs> Righteously. Um, no one knows how deep the void is. Has anybody traveled down it? No one I've never met. Sometimes I stare into it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little too much. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yep. I went there. <laughs> <laughs> Can I touch? Uh, I'd like to touch my amulet and stare into the void. Open myself up to um, two things unseen in the void. To Can I, looking into the void. Can it, how much damage does he take for doing that? He could. He could do it. I guess. He could give it a go. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of two unlikely people that step through a door <laughs> as I do it, just staring through to catch a glimpse. Mm. Um, you see an impenetrable darkness. Like, not just the darkness of closing your eyes, but like... The absence of absence light. Absence of anything. Yeah. The spaces anything. between spaces. Yeah. yeah, cool. Um, which is not something that you've ever actually seen before. Like, it's kind of a bit freaky. Yeah. I'm gonna try and... I'm just gonna stare into it and, and find it very difficult to tear myself away. Mm -hmm. So 20 minutes later, I'll come back into reality. <laughs> So, Nali, what were we talking about? <laughs> You've been staring into the void, man. It's deep. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I've discovered it's my deep. new occupation a taxi driver. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to be. That's what they do. They just stare into the void. <laughs> how, many, how many years have you stared into the void, Nali? Oh, I don't know. I, I just track. <laughs> Nali, I, I want to take you and you can be my my pet. <laughs> yeah, just be a good NPC to keep with you. Isn't it? <laughs> just so I have to do the voice all the yeah. time. <laughs> Dude, Not at all useful. In hey, Nali, this is a really unique situation. What do you think about it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about this city. Let's go to the... Yes. Um, Who runs it? And why are we wearing these metallic headbands? What oh, are these? Right. Yeah, so, uh, so Suri is run by the Grand Zathina. The who? The Grand Zathina. He's like the ruler of the city. Is his name Rex? It's Grand Zathina. Yeah, how did you know that? Hmm. Where is this Grand Zathina? He, he gestures kind of out to the, on the other side, beyond the bowl. And he says, you see that green thing out there? And you look yes. across, and you can't really miss it. There's this huge green obelisk that's on this crazy angle out into the space, out from the edge of the cliff on like a 45 degree angle. And it looks like it's made of like emerald or something, like purely. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of semi-translucent. Um, but 
also you can't really make anything out in it. Like it has, it seems like lights kind of shining through it, but you can't see its interior. Um, and he says, that's his palace. It's pretty rad. I need to get there. This is an amazing obelisk. What is it made out of? I don't know. Just green. When did he arrive? <laughs> <laughs> I have no real relevancy or information for you at the moment. When did Rex come back to you? He's not exactly like a historian of the city. When did Rex arrive in the city? The Grand Zathena. Oh. The Grand Was Zathena's it... been here, I don't know. I don't know. When did I? When did he leave? Um, this? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe about 10 years ago? Mm-hmm. It's quite a long time. Um, not compared to the rest of the world, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I don't think Ninth World has really have an idea of any other of the world. Or years. Been. They do, actually. They, they do have, they have a years. calendar, which is different now. Yeah. Um, I don't really know much about the human era calendar. But, whatever it is, he says the equivalent of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, 10 years. Um, yeah, it's been about 10 years, I suppose. Simply must get there. Can we land there and talk to him? No way, man! You can't go just turn up at the Grand Zathena's palace. Why? This is the Grand Zathena, man! I don't understand. I'm neutral on this issue. (laughs) You're neutral on this issue. Does he wish to be alone? Is he in solitude? Uh, No, but like... You guys aren't... Royal? Yeah. Like, you gotta be like an aristocrat to go there. Or the nephew. Dun, dun, dun! Yes, but he. He doesn't want to see me. But that doesn't mean he's you're still his nephew. It's true. He's the nephew of the Grand Zathena. What? But you're not a sky dweller? A what? A sky dweller! <laughs> no, we've come from where Rex was originally from. What do you mean? Deep. <laughs> well, like the boy. <laughs> let's let's get, try and confuse him as much as <laughs> You're about to arrive at the bowl. It's, yeah, not, it's not a ridiculous distance. I don't know how much more time. Nali, I have, I have a mission for you. And you will get this. <laughs> Is it your button? <laughs> No, it's some something I just pulled out of my pocket. Is it a bell? What have you got in your pocket? Um, That's the question. Is it a ring? Yeah, it'd be a ring. Something cool. A ring? Oh, an invisibility ring? Do you have a ring? I have a memory lens, I have eagle eyes, and I have a gas bomb. Give him a gas bomb? <laughs> Dude, I totally use this gas bomb. <laughs> Can I smoke this? <laughs> I give. I go along and I get this, I get this massive bomb. I mean bomb. I mean bomb. <laughs> Just bong bomb. Um, and I give it to him and say, this is the most precious possession I have. What I need for you to do is make us, get us clothing of these sky people so we will fit in up there. Oh man. I don't know if I can, where am I going to get it? I really, I really like to help you guys. But I just I really want to go out. Bong. <laughs> bong. I mean, bomb. Oh, if you do not want it, that is okay. No, no, I... I thought you'd be able to, then I throw it in the air and catch it. <laughs> As you do, while we play. Yeah. Um, well, I got gravity. I start yeah. making it hover in my hand, and I say, I, I, I thought you'd be a man of, be able to get, get what is, what is needed in the city. Am I, if I'm wrong, Gnarly? Uh, I'll Seems like it. such a trustworthy person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'll, I'll do what I can. I can't make any promises, though. I just float it over to him and it lands into his pocket. He doesn't seem at all, A, doesn't seem particularly impressed, and B, doesn't seem at all surprised that you're manipulating gravity like that. Like yes. I know. Like, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, wow. Cool. Which, you know, you, yeah. you're not used to that because you use it as a bit of a... Whereas I'm watching it as it goes across. <laughs> yeah. And I just put it in his pocket. But he knows what I mean. Yep. Cool, so you land at the bowl, um, there's sort of a little 
platform for rasters to drop people off. Um, the cool thing about a raster is that it has these huge wings and it uses them to kind of fly. But when it's near the surface of the ground, it can just gently kind of hover above this platform and you can just drop down. It's That's kind cool. Of holding okay. its wings still and it seems like, like your hoverboards, but... Except it's a difficulty three to get on. <laughs> well, no, because... I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. It, it didn't have anything to hover above at the other side, because it was just kind of hanging on its boots. Oh, sorry. Okay. But at this end, it can just hover and you can That's just cool. step off. Cool, I step off. pretty awesome. I really want one of these things. It's basically, instead of it just putting its legs out and landing, it yeah. can just hover its kind of legs right off the ground. Which is cool. Cool. Thank you, Gnarly. Hey, no you worries. Have a wonderful biomechanical bat. <laughs> or whatever you call it. Raster. 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 Excellent. Catch you guys around. <laughs> I'll give him the secret sign. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You guys are both stared into the void. You've got a connection. Yeah. Deep. <laughs> a deep connection. Um, I'd like to make a recovery roll just to, um, as I take a moment before I walk into the bar. Cool. What are you? What? Just what? want to roll a d6 and recover from a lot of my stuff I've been using. Oh yeah, yeah. So four. Cool. Excellent. Do you don't need to recover anything? I haven't used anything to. Can I? I need to rub out anyway. But... What's up? I've last game I haven't. If that's okay, if you mm -hmm. if you don't want to share, that's fine. Cool. No, I don't. But I, I will because I have to. The secret. Um, I'm just angry. So the bowl. I love the bowl. Describe me the let bowl. Me, let me tell you what this you see another, like, when you arrive thing, at like, the bowl. Dude. Um, the bowl... <laughs> They're just multiple gnarly. The there? bowl <laughs> is this, like, crazy hodgepodge of things. Um, it's kind of part marketplace of people buying and selling things. Um, it's also... And I, and I mean buying and selling. Like, there's a stall selling chickens and there'll be a guy bringing chickens to the store and getting money for his chickens and also coming and buying them like it's just this kind of crazy because they're not chickens they're some kind of weird oh, lizard yeah. creatures that taste like chicken yeah, <laughs> yeah. But how do we know what chicken tastes like everything tastes like chicken then, um and there's so there's people buying and selling things there's sort of a like there's people selling hot food and there's People selling alcoholic beverages. I go there. <laughs> yeah. My character is actually um, become very. They're all like, like couches and tables and like everything's sort of mismatched. And there's people sitting around talking or doing business and trading and bartering. And there's people kind of smoking stuff in the corner. Yeah, raster and, uh, riders. Yeah, well, mostly raster riders. And uh, are so they all just, looking at the boys? This crazy hive of activity and. The ground is all sloping, like there's not really any flat surface except right down to the very <laughs> so centre because it's yeah. all kind of bowl shaped. Yeah. It's not very steep. Is it one staggered kind of? Yes. Yeah, so some people kind of, if they've got a stall, they'll kind of yeah, prop it up. And prop it up. But it's pretty kind of, and and you know the furniture is kind of people have filed <laughs> off the leg to kind of get it to That's sit awesome. evenly. But there's not. Everyone just seems to be used to the fact that. When you're in the bowl, things are kind of bowl shaped, um, which is cool. Cool, go up to a bar. Yep. Get a drink. I really become addicted to alcohol. <laughs> Any character? After I oh. kill. Oh, high five! Oh, that was that yeah. was. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> he's rejected. Um. I like the grey drinks. Very yeah. So you get a drink. You find a seat. I get, I, I I just keep drinking. Cool. I'm just, it's, I'm, it's, it's become a very bad addiction for me. Cool. So, does it affect you? you no, get, not really. You don't get drunk, no, do you? No, I don't think so. You're just addicted to it. Yeah. You don't get drunk? Why wouldn't you get drunk? Because I've never got drunk in the other games. Even though I drink, I just think my body is different. Maybe there's a certain drink here that changes that. Well, let's roll, shall we? <laughs> what are we going to do? Intellect? Or... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, diff four. It'd be might, wouldn't it? <laughs> Because it's like a, how it physically affects you. Might get four. Okay, you can spend it. Nope. Oh, don't nice. need to. Nice, nice. Right, so yeah, you stay sober, even though you drink quite a few of these. Meanwhile, it definitely affects my character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You went crazy before? <laughs> oh, no. I see dead people. <laughs> yeah, yep. the more you drink, the more you see things of the beyond and the less you see of yeah. the world around you. Unlike other people who drink to, to cure their insanity, it might actually makes it, yeah. drinking makes it own worse. Fantastic. But, but also, there's something about it that dulls your discomfort about it. Oh, cool. I so drink a lot then. You, you, drinking makes it go away, but also you remember all those things and then you feel really sad when you wake up. It's like a hangover, but psychological. <laughs> Great. That should be on like a <laughs> greeting card or something. Um, I would like to look around and see if I can um, pick people who would have, who are, look like the kind of fixers or information, people that would have information around the place selling or yeah. buying kind of that kind of thing. Um, you make some kind of perception -y thing. What, did, didn't you have a special yeah, ability? Yeah, see the that? unseen of a minus, yeah, on hidden things. Um, so yeah, so I'm basically just looking around, I guess, trying to find sense or even use my own street wires, I guess, mm. to try and find it. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, and with the extra alcohol in your system, we'll, we'll drop the difficulty because you can see this stuff better. Yeah, so what? what's yeah. my diff currently? Like, what's my unmodified diff? Uh, so it would have been four, we'll make it three. Three, and then um, with this, place oh. it down another one? Is that what that, you're that, saying? That's what I'm that saying. is my three. Okay, cool. Three? Cool. Um, so 50 50. I'm going to burn an effort to go looking for it. Cool. So. No! <laughs> Shame. You missed it by one. That's sad. That's okay. So. Um, I can't see anything right now. <laughs> So I, I talked to a few of you about dead ends, basically. Yeah. yeah I go so along and I hover, and I hover up into the turn. Just talk to Rasta's, Rasta drivers, really. Yeah. <laughs> they talk just about, talk the, about boy. the boy. They <laughs> <laughs> didn't actually help you. We're also supposed to come over and talk to you about Africa. <laughs> yeah. This is more interesting anyway. Cool. What are you going to do? I'm just going to hover in the middle. I'm like, just hovering in the middle. Look, I'm going to hover up mm -hmm. into the middle of the bowl and start looking around. Ooh. Sitting like just in a sitting position, hovering and just. You you get a few weird looks from people that are wondering why you're doing that. I can. <laughs> um, I'm also gonna look look around for like um, more. Gonna look for people of higher class and see what they're wearing. Mm. And so I'm just gonna be like looking and looking and then looking for stalls that sell similar type of clothing of mm -hmm. that nature. So, you notice that the high class people seem to wear kind of these silkier kind of garments that look a lot more kind of fashionable and expensive, um, bright colours and stuff. You also, uh, actually, I might make you roll to get a little more information. Cool. How about that? Yep. Intellect? Because uh, I'm looking and thinking. Yeah. You can pay an effort or anything? So well, I've got two ads. It's just going to so take an, an hour. Yeah, I'll one. pay an effort. Diff four, which with an effort will be three. It's still worth it. Um, yeah, so I did it. Yeah. Lucky. Um, yeah, so you also notice that these, that all of the wealthy looking people aren't wearing the bands around there. Hmm. So it's almost like it's a, it's a class symbol that the lower classes have to wear these things in. I feel mine and I try and move it and try and lift it off. Oh, okay, it's like if, monkey magic. If you, if you lift it off, um, there are some people that you have noticed in the crowd that are sort of looking your, vaguely looking Because you're hovering right. in the middle. And as you, yeah. as you... No, no, I don't it, take it off. I just take lift but it But as off. you start to lift it, they start to move towards you. And when I say move towards you, I mean even if they're below you, they're still moving towards you. Like upwards. Like they're they floating. Um, and these guys have swords. Do I notice this at all? Uh, not immediately. It's sort of, the, it's in the moment of, oh, okay, cool. you know. I'm like, there talking to Nali's crew. Um, yeah. So, if you'd like to take it off, I can give you a copy. Are you doing an intrusion here? Do it. Yeah, totally. Because <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> totally. I pull it off. Excellent. 
<laughs> and I start because I'm bald. I start scratching. Are you going to give um, your extra XP to um, Nali? Actually, he could totally do it. <laughs> he saved my life, unlike he the did. other person who he did didn't it. try to catch. No, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a twist. High five. Yeah. yeah. I'm starting to regret these high fives. Yeah. No, no. Cool. It's over now. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. That's beautiful. Together. That's beautiful. Um, alright, so, awkward. um, these guys descend, ascend upon you. Ascend? Uh, ascend? <laughs> um, <laughs> yep, they, they don't look necessarily human. They look a little bit off. Um, and... Like me off? Or like... Mm, no. Mm. Just in their eyes, really. Just in their kind of the way that they carry themselves, they don't look like they think for themselves or you know do normal human things when they're not at work. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like there's just something odd about them. Yeah, not like gnarly odd, no, like no. different odd. He's not odd. He's normal. Um, so like him uh, odd. <laughs> yeah, like, like, this is probably odd. I we have to roll for some kind of initiative, don't we? Yeah, let's do that. Um, you, you do notice at this point. Cool. You're a little bit of a distance away and they're above you. So I'll definitely watch for the first moment. Yeah. Because so I don't really understand it. what's going on. Alright, cool. So, um, I am going to roll a initiative. Yeah. Cool. What's their thing? Level. Uh, their level... I'm breaking a lot of plates and stuff in this place. <laughs> um, hang on. The difficulty is 20. Roll. I didn't bookmark that page, which is very annoying. John, make some music. You fill in the gap. One, two, three, go. I'll turn some music on. Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're trying really hard, I know. I was expending effort. Ready? Roll dice. There you go, that's what I got. Cool. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a bad uh, strike. They are level three. So, shall I roll initiative, but I'll come in on the next turn? Yep. Diff nine. Nope. Yep. Which fits perfectly. What did you roll? Nine. Oh. So... I act first. before them. Yep. You act before one of them. So is any going before me? What? How many are there? Uh... At the moment there are four. Are they close That's to each other? Well when you say at the moment. Um, yeah, so there's, there's one, one within striking distance and the others... Uh, kind of Are they all kind of below me coming up? So I Yeah, so I... the one that's the one that's within striking distance is immediately below you. This is like in the computer the games dark. when I'm... you're playing like the what's that Jedi game? Like the Force Unleashed? Where yeah. if you've got stormtroopers running towards you on a platform and yeah. you can just push them up. <coughs> yeah. This is that kind of moment. Yeah, this is this is where I'm going like this. I'm like looking up and looking down, and if they, if I'm going keeping on going up, right, are they all gonna kinda go you up and go, go into line? Yeah, you can only roll up. <laughs> And there's a roof, which is going to get in your way. Okay, cool. So I just go along and push down. <clears throat> Boom. Excellent. And I don't need to do pay anything, because it costs two and it is two. Excellent. Uh, so, they being level three means it's diff three. Isn't it? Is that right? Yeah, diff nine. Diff, yeah, nine's nine. Nine, so, yeah, that's confusing me. Nineteen! Minor critical. <laughs> um, so you take... Is that double damage? Uh, it's the plus three damage, but he's doing push, which is no damage. It's oh, no damage, it's, it's just, just effect. Just I'm just like... So it's wow. probably some fancy thing that happens. Some good effect. Yeah. So he knocks all the other ones down and they hit the floor together. A domino. Well, they're not yeah. all coming... They're not in a line below. <laughs> no, they're not. But, that, but in my head, I've knocked more than one. It's like skittles. Because I rolled a 19, which is a minor critical. If I rolled 20, they'd all hit the ground. All right, well, we'll say he hits the ground and takes damage yeah. in hitting the ground. Which wouldn't normally, like, the actual push doesn't give him damage. No. But the fall will. So it works like Onslaught, maybe? Yeah, so um, 4 damage. So 4 damage plus the 3 damage from this? Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's what it is. 7 points of damage. 7 points of damage. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. 
seven points of damage. Done. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so the other ones are, are closing in towards you. Um, and one of them uh, has drawn a, a ranged weapon of sorts. You can't really tell exactly what it is. You've never seen anything like it. Um, but it's it's humming in his hand as he... Like a buzzer? I so want one of those. Whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it does. <laughs> you think that's awesome. Um, and you hear this whoosh noise. Um, and something, this sort of long... Not very long. Maybe it's the length of this mechanical pencil. Um, <laughs> For those, for, those, for those watching at home, that is about this long. This long. Um, um, is, is coming towards you at an extremely high speed. Uh, that's not fun. So, do you have some kind of armor? Yep. You might want to make a roll. Armor of my armor. mind. So you have the choice. You can take it, oh, or you dodge. can try and dodge, which depending on which one yeah. you do. I've already used effort, so I can... What's the difficulty to dodge? You haven't used effort this turn. You, did Your idea, you, you, you used no, edge I, no, from your intellect. Sorry, yeah, this turn, but you didn't so use any. What a dip now, if you want. Uh, it's diff three. Uh, no, diff four. Diff four. Diff four. Diff four is like over fifty. So twelve. Twelve C. <laughs> but if you burn an effort, it will be diff three. Yeah, I'll do that. Nine. Diff three. Yep. Done. 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 I go like this. I just gravity and I just go and I just kind of. Oh, were you dodging? Yeah, dodging. So you. So, so just for visual effects. All right. It's okay. it's 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 all, it's all in the mind. I right. I dodged it out of my way. Blah blah blah. Cosmetics. Yes. Cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> you it's like out it's all way. role playing it's sort of, is, is. It cosmetics. just brushes. You know, just you kind of yep. feel this rush of warm air rushing past yeah. you. Like it's very pleasant. Gonna be I go like this. Why, why are you attacking me? Pardon? Yeah, <laughs> <Who's laughs> <that's> <laughs> <laughs> Why are you attacking me? Nani! <laughs> um, he doesn't, he doesn't respond to your question. He just keeps coming towards you. Um, and the other two are also closing on you pretty fast. Uh, and one of them swings his blade. His sort of red blade, he swings towards you. He's kind of coming diagonally up, and he swings it at you viciously. What are you doing? Well, I can't dodge again, can I? You've only used one effort, haven't you? You've you got dodge a second again. effort. You can use your second effort to dodge. No, I'll just. I'll just. So this is our diff three. Yeah, so I'll just try it. Nine! <laughs> Wrong nine! Oh, three yeah. nine in a row. This is so different. Normally you're like ones and twenties. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know. Rolling average. <laughs> yeah, know. Which is working for you, really. Yeah. Well. Um, so, yep, you dodge this blade and he kind of. No, I deflect it with my gravity. Oh, okay. But either way, um, he kind of overshoots. He goes past you a bit. Um, and the third one uh, closes in, swinging his. They could all parts. get to me in one turn. <laughs> they, were, they were all kind of closing together, except for the first one that you got to hit first. Um, and so the third one also swings his or her or its red blade. Uh, and this one, this one seems to be trying to kind of cut at your legs. Red blade, as in the metal is red, or that it has some kind of power around it. Some kind of power around it. Oh, I must have all these weapons, <laughs> which you think is awesome, yes. but also you're a bit for I wonder what they taste like. Okay, let's go. Cool. Tip three again. Mm -hmm. no. ah. Nine. So he cuts three for three points of damage. Here you're gonna give me one. I thought okay. you might want. You so I think you need might to need soak it? some of that. What? Do you have a? No, no armor at all. Oh, no armor at all. Okay, you take three. <laughs> My turn. Yes. All right. The one with the weapon, that mm -hmm. strange thing, looks like the most impressive of. The items in front of me. Yep. All right. I'm purely concentrated on what's fascinating me, and I must have a look at that weapon closer. I'm also noticing that there's probably some danger for our, my poor friend Axie mm -hmm. over here. So, I, is that person someone I can close a distance with? Well, they're all airborne. And isn't one of them on the ground? Yeah, I threw one on the ground. The one that fell is on the ground, but he's not the one that shot. All right. I might go for him first because yeah. he's on my way, and um, I'll pull out my um, 
I pull out my liquid water sword and mm -hmm. add four How spin. much damage? <laughs> it's the same damage as, um, I, I, that you could have done if you'd chosen to. I got my hoverboard. I'm just saying. <coughs> um, and. Whip the story first. <laughs> Ooh! And I'm gonna go through and yeah, I'm gonna um, cut across him. Cool. With my sword. He's, um, he's lying prone. So. Cool. So he's what? Fifth three. Is he a four normally? Yes. Uh, He's, no, he's a three normally. All right, cool. So I, I attack armor, him swiftly, so. so with my speed attack, mm -hmm. slicing across him. Let's see if I hit. No! Oh. That's hilarious. I miss in my eagerness to try and get to that item that's flying above me. <laughs> really? Miss, even yeah. though he's prone. Yep. He's prone and you missed him. Maybe well, he manages to sort of just roll just that Wait, it was diff, diff three? Uh... No, it was diff three. No, diff diff three, diff two, because he's on the ground. Diff, diff one. Oh no, I hit. Oh yeah, no, I hit then. So I rolled oh, yeah, three. You're on the oh three. sorry. So I did yeah, five sorry. points of damage. Yeah. Oh wow. Cutting him with the the sharpness of the water it, blade. It, describe his demise. Um, it cuts. Um, he cuts him in half at the torso. Does he smile when this happens, or does he remain blank? He, he remains blank, and so you, what do you do? You cut, cut him in half at the torso. <laughs> the torso. Um, when you cut him in half at the torso. Nobody attacks my friends. Um, he, there, there seems to be a sort of a, a ashen sort of colour comes over his bottom half. His legs kind of turn black in that moment. I reach down and I have a smell. What does it smell like? It smells like burnt flesh. My water sword Your water is truly sword. powerful to, to burn things burn with its water. Somehow burn <laughs> Fantastic. Which is very odd. Oh yeah, I look up eagerly towards the next one. I go along and say, Remove your metal strap! To him? Yeah. Okay, is Good. that your thing? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> oh, okay. no, no, no. I'm happy, I'm happy with that. No, no, no. Um, you can attack. Yeah, I go along and I, I look at him and I go, Remove the metal around your head! I can't do anything in this one moment because I'm out of turn. Okay, cool. That was you might respond when it's his turn. Alright, and then I go like this. And then I just go... And grab gravity and just like press it down. Mm -hmm. You can see all the little ash part of start coming in and just forming this little dot. And then it's... I do again! And nice. fire that down at the guy who has the buzzer. Yep. It wasn't a buzzer, but yes. Some it kind of a ranged weapon. Totally awesome. <laughs> Which we right. don't, you, you've never seen before. So that's intellect. Mm -hmm. um, doing that. Plus I will give it an effort. So I'll take it down to... Two efforts. Whoa, natural 20! Woo -hoo! Wow. So, so that's I... nine points of damage. <laughs> nice job. Um, but what do you do? What happens? Tell us Sorry. what happens. Well, I go like this, I get it, and I get this into this tiny, all this little dust and everything, into this tiny little, like, hole, black Piece hole kind of, of thing. Wow. And I and I throw it down, and the gravity, as the as everybody who's going up towards me gets pulled a bit towards it, mm -hmm. and then it hits the guy at the bottom who was shooting range, and just... And sucks him in, and then just this so ball just sort of implodes, just in, into, implodes into this little thing. And then just it falls, and he falls down. And dead. Oh my gosh! Dead the... in one. I'm totally impressed. Okay, I was totally impressed. <laughs> Absolutely impressed. It's incredible. Yeah. And mm. his weapon sort of sizzles all in the ground. <laughs> There's my <laughs> turn. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Cool. So there's still two left with their red red blades of some kind. Um, and they they're both still pretty fixated on you. Yep. Um, but they are because you know you're the one dealing all this crazy damage. Mm. Um, so, uh, one of them... The guy's in the back jigging. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm having a great time down below watching this fireworks display. Before. Yeah. There are a lot of people watching. It's a pretty busy place. Yeah, I was about to say, it's like the centre of town. Yeah. We're, we're having a fight with um, the guards of the town in the centre of town because I had to go for XP because it was an intrusion. <laughs> Intrusions! Your number one source of XP. Yeah. Cool. So... Uh, the first one, um, kind of comes at you again, just another pass. Is it because, because I went so this. awesome, so awesome, a natural 20, and I said, as it went past, I kind of sucked him down. Does that kind of make him off, off-footed, you know what I mean? Like, like he's a little bit off-balance. He's off-balance because he got pulled towards it as it went past and hit his friend and destroyed him. 
What? Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, gravity, that's my thing. You know, that's my jam, as you might say. All right. In the we'll, ninth world. We'll, we'll, reduce, we'll reduce his... The, we'll reduce the difficulty by, like... Two? We'll, take, we'll give you one on the, one extra dice. One which, extra d20? That's, that'll be very useful. Like, as in, it'll still be the same dip, but you'll get a plus one on your roll. Yeah. So it's diff three. So it's eight. Okay. Diff three, but you need eight instead of nine. Okay, cool. Does that make sense? And yeah, no, I don't know how perfect. to describe that. What is that called? Yeah, um, that's the plus one to your roll. Yeah, plus one to your roll. It's called bullshit that I just... <laughs> just <laughs> plus one to your roll. Yeah, I'll give you a plus one to your roll. Yeah, cool. There you go. So I got to roll above an eight. Yeah. Are you, what kind of thing are you doing? Eight. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you're amazing. This guy is so frustrating. <laughs> he keeps just missing you. Like, the gravity thing is just putting him off and he just, just misses them and just misses it's like, again. It's like That's playing cool. ping pong with a person who spins. Yes. It's like, oh, and it just goes that little bit, little and bit. you're just like, oh, just come on. He's missing you by, like, nothing. Yeah. Like, occasionally he might even just kind of... He feels like he's hitting me. Nick like he, the clothing. Yeah. He's like, how am I missing? Again, um, he's is he feeling foolish? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I would. Uh, he might be. He might. He doesn't be. really seem to not show showing much. it. But yeah. Nali is Nali is Nali and his friends, or well, not Nali because he's flying away, but his friends cheering. Uh, I'm getting inspiration from that. Yeah, I think I think they're probably enjoying this display. They don't seem to mind the fact that you're fighting the guards. They're not sort of. They're not. Fa they're not facing. They're not on the side of the guards by the look of things. At least they're not looking at the void. It's um, the second and only remaining guard. Uh, doesn't fly at you with his sword. Instead, he opens his mouth and he lets out this incredible screeching, screaming sound. Which, like... Can I spend an experience and step into that one moment? Yeah. What, to, to take... To do an action? To do as, he, as he starts up his slayer intrusion. Can I, oh! the rule book? I know it's on the rule book. Can I step <laughs> in and do that? Yeah, for an XP. Alright. I would like to pull out my sonic hole. <gasps> yep. <And laughs> boom! Activate it, creating complete silence as that first Which scream comes out. That's this so scream relevant. completely useless. <laughs> That's awesome! That's, awesome. <laughs> That's freaking the bomb! Good thinking. I won't even tell you what it was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> Nothing happens. Nothing. Yeah, right. <laughs> and he <laughs> looks at he screams and XP comes out. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, John. Cool. Oh. That's my action done for that turn. And his. So yeah. now we're up to you. I'm just going to... I'm guessing they're both kind of below me now because they're both coming up to me, or are they just like no oh, one so overshot one, me? One overshot and then overshot a second time, so he's now below, and yep. the other one took a deep breath, overshot and then took a deep breath. So you got one above, you got one there and one there. That you're in yep. between them. Okay, okay. Great, you had a gas bomb right about now. You mean a gas bong? <laughs> no, he's totally Dude. drunk. He's, he's, gas bong. he's just like, he walks in with it in his mouth and smoke coming out of his ears. Like, he's like, oh. oh. Didn't realize I was supposed to swallow it. What are you going to do? I've things, man. <laughs> Me too. I'm going to hover directly at this guy and just land on him and just. The one below you? Yeah. Who was the one who screamed? Mm. Who was the guy over shot? And then just put my hand on his face mm -hmm. and just onslaught. Just gravity, pull gravity into his head. Like, okay. Is you know onslaught how I, a mental thing or a. It is, but you can use it as. You use it's it sort of a gravity attack. Okay. okay. It's That's a gravity funny. attack. Yeah. So I'm just like, go on top of him and gravity him mm -hmm. down kind of thing. Gravity Excellent. attack. Gravity attack. So like pushing him to the ground kind of. 13. Nice. That's so, enough. Yep, yeah, cool. Does fill damage to it, four damage to him. Cool. And we're both not flying and we're both falling to the ground. Oh, yeah. Dragon Ball Z star. Oh, yeah. Whoa! This is the screaming one, isn't it? Yes. That you're tackling, yeah. yes. Got him cool. right in the face. I got him right. Now. I got him in the, in the face with so gravity. Th the other one now can't reach you this turn. So he's going to kind of come down towards the two of you. But he's going right, roughly the same speed as you are. Like he's not going to close yeah. that distance. Um, in my head, I'm just seeing this amazing... So you're grappling the other one? Yeah. Is that kind of the, the circumstance? Yeah, the so Because it's his turn now. 
I'm gravi- is it, yeah, I'm gravitating. No, you're pointing down no, 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 towards it's your where turn. Kind of if you, if you moved up in the order one, it's your turn now before it's his turn. No, I, I no, just, I just jumped in. Oh, just for so, one turn. so I'm, I'm at the end. Whenever, yeah. whoever's last. So, so he's gonna, the one that you're grappling is gonna try and get away from you. Sort of oh, can there be a fruit cut? Free and... Can there be a fruit cut where Actually, we're going towards? Rather, rather than trying to get free completely, he just wants to roll. Oh, so yes. that we're all gonna land before he Yes, do that, do that, do that. I'm just gonna check how long my silence lasts for. Cool. Um, because so there's music playing a, in the background, a, I just don't get it. Oh yeah. I oh, sh- you should totally cut that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sirenscape. Oh, how got the right page and everything? Cool. Really? Yeah, straight on the page. Sammy Carl. How long is it last? Probably one round, one round per level. cipher level, so it's a uh, level five. That was level six actually. Six rounds. Six rounds. Cool. It hasn't even been one yet. That's why it's so quiet. <laughs> it's like kind of spooky. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cool. So Sorry. we're you can, both. You can change that. We're both. Oh, hey. Hang on. So we're both. We're both silently falling through the air, mm. and he's like, yeah. and I'm like. So he tries to roll over, and you need to. It's, it's a dip three for you to resist him rolling. In. I will resist that. You will. Yeah. Ten. You just keep just so average, so amazingly average. Amazing I know. Average. This is great. Cool. Um. So he doesn't manage to roll out. He's still underneath you as you fall. Um. Just before they hit the ground. Um, just before they hit the ground, I am going to place my hilt down on the ground right where they're falling. <laughs> so he's oh, going to fall on your hilt, on your sword. sword. Yeah. But oh, okay. I don't, I don't care. No, I, <laughs> I mean if they're falling. I'll angle it to so I catch him instead of Nathan. So unless they're, they're pl- are they held together? Are they plummeting yeah. together? I'm on top of oh, them. Well, I probably won't do that then. Um, Get the other. No, what Did I'll you do. Hear what I said and no, take no, off what the I'll helmet? do is. Um, oh, yeah, you, can I do that as a free action? Just take it off. Like it's not super yeah. good to my head. So take it off. Yeah. And oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my sword lengthwise down. The, oh, just like so flat on the ground, like um, with a blade yeah. up. So rather than point up with this, oh, just it's so like that. Just cut the, like the, yeah. the width of the blade, not the length of the yeah, blade. Yeah, yeah. So like I that. place it down. Yeah, cool. So you can land with the full force of it. That's cool. I don't think you need to make a roll to do that. So. It's your turn, Nathan. I keep falling. You do. And as I do that, because I've got a free action... You're just about to hit the ground. Yeah, so I, he's not going to be able to roll me. He's not going to get another turn. So I'm just going to turn around and just... Push. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so going to do that. going to push the other guy and that pushes in you. the air and we're just going to push because of relativity. No. The reaction, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So me pushing him just going boom and firing him into the roof means that I hit the ground harder yeah. and I just, I go brace myself to like, so I really hit him. Yeah. That's what I do. So every cool. time you do push, you go flying off the other direction. <laughs> no, but I'm a man. I can stand oh, okay. there and go, like, I'd be like, <laughs> he can brace like, himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brace. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. Like firing a gun. You know, there's a bit of a recoil. Yeah. I died one time because I was so powerful. <laughs> did, I t- did, I, did I tell you that story? Nobody saw it in a vision. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because he had, do you, have the, do you still have the gold crown on? No. Oh yeah, I would have that on, yeah, yeah. No, I, have, I wouldn't have. No, I, no, because you said I could have limited communication. Yeah. So I guess I do. Yeah. yeah. What, could we have like, because I used to be the ship and I'm connected no. with it in some way. No. Sorry. All right, cool. Anyway, so um, I push down and I do that yep. to my action. What happens? All right. So uh, he hits the ground slash your sword. Very hard. Oh, I didn't even have to roll. No, I ama- That's how I, amazing you are. High five. Helpful. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. No, I followed that twice down. Um, <laughs> but I was really going to do it this time. Oh, sad. But we were high-fiving no before because face. you were high-fiving over my over my failures. That's what you wanted to do. Cool. Um, so he he's sliced quite heavily. Oh, mm. um, and you also hit the ground uh, and you're going to take three points of damage just for the... Because you're hitting it yeah. so hard. You pushed yourself into the ground with that one. I did. Push. I did. So, uh, now it's the other one's turn that you just pushed away. <laughs> Into the roof. Into the roof. How far did he go? Um, I reckon he, he probably hit the roof. 
Yeah. Let's say you hit the roof. Yeah, that's a, that's a, imagery wise, yeah. it's a lot stronger. So hit the roof. The roof isn't solid. No. It's sort of like a big canvas tent. You know? <laughs> like it's so it's it's fairly soft. Yeah. And he kind of smushes into it. And, oh, that's nice. And stops. Um, and then he starts descending towards both of you at a fair speed. And I gotta. I, and he the, opens and his mouth, but there's no sound. I, I go like this. I, I went <laughs> like this. That's awesome. I look at you, and then I get ready in the brace position. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be great in the podcast, Mom, and no one can hear it. <laughs> I, know, I love it how also the sirens gate's not playing. Yeah, yeah, it's just a complete, complete silence. silence. Yeah. Um, people will be like, who's turning the it? volume up on their computer? Yeah, and then it's when just we like, start talking, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like that guy who had it so quiet, it's like, your virus database has been updated. <laughs> oh, so sorry, to you. sorry to you. Sorry to you. I can't remember your name. Yeah. yeah. Um, my turn? <laughs> yes. All right. Um, now, this guy's hit into the canvas. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't it's actually It's going to take an eternal or so to come down to you. I'm going to run over towards the, the thing that's lying on the thing. The sort of gun thing. Yeah, yeah. I'll my <laughs> gun away. I grab whatever this thing is. Mm-hmm. Does it look like it has some way of firing it? Can I um, can yeah. I have a new narrow knowledge? Maybe? Yeah, make a new narrow knowledge roll to see if you can guess how it's going to work. Cool. Are there any symbols on it at all? Bits of insight? Um, I have decipher. Hmm? Oh, is there any symbols oh, on it? Like instructions? Yeah, like... Red button. Point to point, shoot. Point to shoot. This way up. I don't know. Um, it does. It does have stuff written on it in some weird language. And you also saw it how it was used before. So you saw the guy shooting it. But I don't think the writing on it is going to tell you how to use it. I think it's more like, don't point this at soldiers because they gain power from it. Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it, it'll probably just say something like the name of you know, gun. Okay, <laughs> you know, That'd be awesome. Smith, yeah, yeah. Smith, Smith and West. Uh, right. I will. Yeah, you know, like just the okay, I'm going to. <laughs> what's my diff to um to be able to work this gun out? Um, I'm just going to point and shoot, but I know I need to know where, how to shoot. Is that right? So you've yeah, seen, you've seen about, it shot once. I know this isn't strictly the rules, but make a roll, and I have sort of a series of diffs. Okay, cool. I would the like outcome to outcome will depend on. I'd like to How spend intellect. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd like to spend effort on cool. intellect to be able to try and work this out. But you've already got edge, so you only have to do... Yeah, sorry, I'm up to eight. Yeah. I just wanted to Thanks for that. You. Cool. <laughs> all right, so the, does this does this help me at all? The decipher? Or not? No. Okay, cool, so it's just what, minus two. Fits of insight? Could that help? Yeah. So well, fits of insight's sort of a random yeah. thing. It's kind of... Okay. If I'm insane. Yep. Oh, one! How does it boom? Oh, oh, oh. Gym, no, gym, gym. Gym. What happens? What happens? That's awesome. Um, but do you get to pick if you get so to happy. take this GM No, you don't. No, not, you don't get not to pick on a And I don't get any experience from it. Um, oh, that's so cool. Okay. Um, in that <laughs> moment, almost out of nowhere, uh, a couple of these, another two... Or three. Let's say another three of these guards. I said I thought two was good. Just come out of nowhere. Like you didn't see them coming. And they grab you and they have this like vice like grip. And they get these cords and they tie you both up. Both and of you, us? You are both He failed, not me. You're both <laughs> Sometimes team intrusions can affect the other players. It's, it's not it's not a botch like this is the bad backfire. It's like a GM intrusion. I can do whatever the heck I want to it, anyone. Yeah, that's awesome. It's just bad <sighs> stuff happens. So, um, and no, the, and also but they have to pry this gun also from my cold dead hands. You didn't manage to shoot it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, either. Not even into my face. It, although you could have, because that is how this works. Yeah, yeah. But no, you didn't. Yeah. Um, so you both restrained. The safety was on, and uh, everyone's sort of staring in wonder at the. Uh, that you managed to put up such a good fight for such a long time, but sadly, 
didn't laugh. And they're reading us our rights, but we can't hear them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything's still completely silent. Because how many rounds was it? Like I think it's only been two so We've far, and it's been like four more rounds to go. <laughs> so they're trying to talk to you, but nothing's coming out, and... I don't know if you're trying to talk back or if you're struggling or shouting. Can I nothing. gravity? Well, I know what happened. Yeah, I know what's happened. They tie my hands together, right? Like this. Yeah, behind your back. Cool. Doesn't matter. <laughs> my hands are like this, right? Yeah. So I can go... Oh, that could have hurt your hands. And start... You could, like, form Push your something. hands away. Form, just pushing... Oh. Forming a... Forming some kind of a blast. No, like gravity point, <laughs> point between my hands and then firing it down here into my arms and then hurting myself but ripping the cords away. That would really hurt. Yeah. Um, you can, but you're going to take damage. Yeah, that's obvious. I don't have much damage left. So you've got four. Me. But then you just jump down to speed. Yeah. And what's the worst that could happen? You can, you can do it if you want. I just want to see if I can... Because hmm. there's only four of them there, which is what we started with. How long does that take? How long does it take to cut through the cord? For us to get wound up and tied up and everything. Oh. Four rounds? Because every round six seconds. Yeah, that's true. I'd say probably... I could probably take about... Yeah, it could probably take... 20 seconds. 20 seconds, yeah. So everything sounds starts to start to come out. Hang on. Don't roll ones. We had that. It was cool. I like I oh. like the fact that we roll ones. I think it's much more interesting when things go badly for us. Oh, they're playing. Anything you can and say will be used in evidence of God. <laughs> I don't know what this means exactly. <laughs> Something along those lines. And then suddenly. Good. Suddenly. <laughs> boom. What do you do? I go and fire a little little yeah. gravity well just below and it just goes through the rope. And I go like this and keep my hands back there. Oh, so they don't know. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Alright, um, so they, they are escorting you out of the bowl um, and down along this long bridge. Uh, I look at one of them and go, what's wrong? What do you mean? You attacked me. You... You removed your mind control. <laughs> That's been telling us what it is. Yeah, it really. Is. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Why gnarly so gnarly? Oh. Um, it was itching. It is prohibited for you to remove it. Hmm. Interesting. I really like that weapon that you had. What's the one? The one that fires. Fire or something. It's the one that fires fire. You have that. I didn't yeah, take they it would, they would have taken it off me. I was yeah, tied up. They would have. I'm sure all my weapons are gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Gosh, Johnny. Way to work as a team, John. <laughs> John, you play the GM too much. So you're right. I fire my detona massive detonation level <laughs> five thing straight in its face. <laughs> Uh, and then I pull out my sword. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, we forgot. <laughs> we forgot to take the weapon. <laughs> it does not very good security. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they suddenly become? I don't know. <laughs> yep. No, they 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 took your weapons and they take you away. Some of us need weapons. Um, what did you ask him? You asked him what the what was the was. weapon was. Um, I don't know if I had a name. For it. Bob Andrew. Andrew, what was the it name was an of the Andrew? Andrew, Andrew made it. Oh, it's a trigger. It's amazing. It's an absolutely exceptional piece of Numenera. Incredible. How does it work? As we're being... Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't stuff up like you did. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough talk. And what is your body made out of? You seem to crumple into ash. Incredible. Are you abhumans? Mutants? Creatures from another world? He, he doesn't... Yeah, I just babble on. Given up on listening. Yeah. Silence. <laughs> he pulls out his he own. He pulls out his own silence. <laughs> cool. I like it. And where are we led to? Um, you are led into the dungeon. Ooh, cool. Is that in the... Well, it's not really a dungeon. It's just kind of some kind of jail. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Cool. And then we'll go to a... And then we'll go to a break. Cool. <gasps> See you guys soon.